Hey everyone, it's Angler. Welcome to the video. In this one, I'm going to show you guys where I caught my fish locations for the first two challenges, a bit about challenges three and four, and also show you guys where I got some enchanted fishing poles from. So let's get started. We're going to get started with the fair weather fish here. The ones that we needed for that were the carp, pogfish, glass, and gold. So first, I'm going to show you where I caught the carp and the pogfish. It's from this fishing location right here that's located just outside of Riverwood next to the bridge. Although they can be commonly found quite a few places throughout Skyrim when I was fishing through all the spots, I caught those two quite often. But I want to show you guys the exact location where I caught the fish and they're both from right here. Now just down the road is where I caught the glass fish and here are some landmarks as well. The deep is right over there. And then right across from the water as well is the Lady Stone. When you load into this location, there is a bridge that will lead you right on to the fish and supplies. And this is where I caught the glass fish. I did see it in some other locations as well, but this is the exact spot. Up next is the goldfish. Right next to Stony Creek Cave, there is a small body of water, the only body of water around it. And you can walk right up the pier or dock per you know either one and they're the fishing supplies and there they are they're actually swimming on top of the water you can see them if you really wanted to this is what i did as well you can just jump right in and catch them with your hand which is actually pretty cool now we're going to go on to the second set of fish and some of them were really challenging to find so the fish that were listed for this one was a catfish pearl sunfish and spayfish the pearl fish was a real pain in the ass for me to find so we're going to start off with the catfish here. As you can see, Heartwood Mill, this is our marker. And then it's not too far off from Riften. So as soon as you load into the mill, you're going to see it. And then pretty much went ahead straight over this way past the kid. He's usually around the fishing supplies for some reason. And this is where I caught the catfish. I only caught this during the rain. I did not catch it personally during the day. Okay, so as far as the sunfish are concerned, I went to Dark Rotter Crossing, and then as soon as I loaded in, I headed to like the very edge of the body of water. Now, as you can see, it is not raining. All I did was go up to the water. I'd seen some fish swimming on top, and there it is, the sunfish. And there's quite a few of them, you know, swimming around. So I just caught it with my hand, and it doesn't matter because, you know, fishing with your hands or your pole, it's the same thing, right? It doesn't matter how we catch it. There's a miner's house, and you just load right in, go down there, and get it. So, up next is the spayfish, and I was in mark card for this one, and then we have the farm as our marker. If you just follow the road, it's going to lead you to the exact fishing spot where I caught it. Now, there are the fishing supplies right there, and then right behind us is going to be the road. I want to show you guys really fast here. So, if you simply follow the road and just keep coming down, there's going to be a little break past the rocks, a little clear path, head right on down, and there is the fishing supplies. Now, the most difficult for me was the pearl fish. Right across from the Swindler's Den, well, pretty much right across, there's going to be a set of, the only set of fishing supplies. And I kind of want to show you the surroundings really fast. That's where the body of water starts. And then once we look at the actual fishing supplies, there is a waterfall pretty much right across from it. You can use as your marker and i only caught this during the day i mean during the rain i did not catch it during the clear so just to clarify i only caught it during the rain and then i'm working on challenge four right now i got three done without knowing it but yeah challenge four is going to be really difficult and i'm hoping to get that done really soon and produce a video for you guys is that on that as well i got the fishing poles from Vera, the lady who gives the fishing bounties in Riften after doing a bunch of challenges. And then from the Argonian, you know, swims in water. I forgot his name, breeze in water or something. After the second set of challenges, he gave me this Argonian fishing pole. So those are the only two that I got and know of right now. But I'm pretty sure there's going to be a couple more because I have a lot more bounties to do and a lot more exploring. So those are the first two challenges. And then... I'm working on challenge four right now, hoping to get it done within the next day so I can bring you guys a video on their locations, hopefully either tonight or tomorrow. 
So those are all the fishing locations that I caught the fish at. Personally, there might be more. There probably is more around, but I just want to show you guys the exact locations where I got mine. And hopefully help you guys out and make things easier. All right, guys. So I really want to thank you for watching the video. It definitely means a lot to me. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I'm trying to reach 5,000 followers and I'm getting close. So once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.